In this video, I'm going to show you how to make x-rays using a high voltage boost converter, which is this thing right here, and a vintage rectifier tube. This particular model is the best one. And these can be easily found on eBay and cost between $5 and $10. And these high voltage converters cost about anything from $3 to about $7. So basically, using these two components, I'm going to show you how to make fairly intense x-rays and we're going to use a Geiger counter to detect these x-rays. Now I did a similar video before, but I had a very fancy power supply. These tubes, which were used in old radios, look something like this. And they have a heated filament. We're not going to heat the filament. And in fact, I believe these produce more x-rays if you don't heat, heat up the filament. So what we're going to do is simply connect negative to one end. So we're going to connect the negative of the boost converter to this side and the positive to this side. And when the voltage is high enough, electrons can fly off that cathode. It'll act as a cold cathode and hit this anode. And when they hit the anode, uh, there's sudden deceleration of the electrons producing Bremsstrahlung radiation, which is what we're going to try and detect. This is the output when you connect it to a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. What I built to make it easier to connect it up was this. Let me just show you it. So I have my 3.7 volt battery inside here in a, in a battery case. I have the boost converter in there. Now the output right there. So I have it all connected up as you can see there and I have an aluminum, aluminum sheet that I've placed right there. And here's my Geiger counter picking up background. And I'm getting about 36 counts per minute, 32 counts per minute. So that's how I positioned it. And I'm going to put this Geiger counter behind this aluminum screen, which is going to block out some of the radiation, but not all of it. And we're going to see what sort of counts we pick up when I press that button. So I'm going to get back a little bit to lower my exposure to the radiation dose. So here goes. So it's picking up a lot of radiation and you can actually see a little bit of a glow. Kind of an orange glow. Thanks for watching and please check back 